Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. This is Intuitive Tarot with me, Mama Core. Today I'm going to be reading for Sagittarius, my fire sign subscribers. This is for your sun, moon, rising and Venus or if you're a cross watcher and you're interested in madly in love with or you just want to know how your Sagittarius ex is doing then all cross watchers are welcome. All I ask you don't wish any negativity upon anybody please only positivity because karma is a bee and it will end up coming back on thee my loves okay you don't want it just don't give it simple as don't put that there because it's gonna burn by the candle okay oh, i just felt the heat coming from that Whew. let's get started <laughs> i hope you can see and hear me i've got a new camera so I don't know how this is going right now, but hopefully all goes okay. So, guided messages for Sagittarius, please. Guided messages for Sagittarius, please. Pants. Let me just do one more. They're telling me to put that back and then they're telling me to take it. I'm going to put it there. Can I get the messages for Sagittarius? You don't want this deck, do you? Do you not want this deck? Sorry guys, I didn't ask for this. I'm um, I'm picking up on a a sag that is very flirtatious, which all sages are anyway, aren't they? Um, but a very flirtatious sag. But it's like I I see this person's like, yeah, I'm flirtatious. Yeah, I'll give you attention, but I'm not going to tell you how I really feel. This person's keeping their cards close to their chest. Damn. But they really have love for you. Don't you, Sag? There's no hiding Oh, damn. Sag. You've got your eye on a high priestess. Whoa. Sag is like, yeah, I love the queen of all queens, please. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, <gasps> oh, here comes the sun, do, 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 do. it's all right. Oh, damn, you all up in your feels. 
I know you are. I can feel it. I feel giddy. I feel... Behind the scenes, when you're on your own, when you're not around this person, you're checking up on this person, you're watching over this person, because this person really fills up your cup. You're very up in your emotions with this person. I feel it. But you are so petrified of coming forward. You're so... You're so in your fear. You're so much in your, your ego that your ego won't let you come forward and tell this person how you truly feel. It's almost as if I cannot let somebody in again to hurt me. Even if it is the woman of my dreams. The woman I want to spend the rest of my life with whether it's the man that I've desired all my life, I'm not gonna let him in, right? You're not, you're not. Because you're so, so, so scared of being hurt. Because this is two people that are crazy about each other. You both have the same feelings and you both feel it. You both want this new beginning you're dreaming, you're manifesting this new beginning. You see a future within each other. Oh, Saj. You're breaking my heart, Saj. Just feeling your energy is breaking my heart. Because you have so much love for this person so much like insane amount of love like i guarantee that you've cried over this person i guarantee it yeah i guarantee it but you're turning up you're turning up you're scared but you are turning up I don't know if you're going to tell this person straight away how you feel. You are coming forward. You're being flirtatious, that's for sure. Oh shit, you're, you literally... Oh. oh my god, Saj. Damn, I wouldn't expect anything less. You're the emperor. Most probably very high up in your job. Very, very stable. Very, very reliable. This is the leader. You're very structured. You're very organized. You're wanting to transform this relationship, transformation. The relationship that you, that you have with this person, you're wanting to transform the whole thing. Literally the whole thing. Because you have unconditional love for them. And you're heading towards them. You're leaving one life and heading towards another. Say it again. All I'm hearing is I'm leaving my life and heading towards you. That's what I'm hearing. And yes, there has been spilt cups, but there's so much potential. There's so much possibility. There's so much abundance in love that you're, you're taking this massive leap of faith towards this person because you want change. You're having this massive realization of your like true, your like true thoughts and desires 
where your head is truly at and even though I don't really feel like you're talking to anybody about it like your true like thoughts and feelings you can't wait to head towards this person and tell them because they are as as successful as you are I'm getting a lot of twos here all I'm seeing is two us two it's always been us two us two against the world and that's what I'm hearing like two something two something two that's... that's making me so emotional you could have a child you could have children you could have a child they could have a child but I do feel like there's a younger feeling um there's a younger energy around you but I also feel like this is you learning you being vulnerable, you learning to let go of that ego, to stop being stubborn, to get in your emotions and be vulnerable because yes, it may scare you. Like all I all I just heard that <laughs> oh. I said yes, it may scare you, and then my spirit went, spirit, spirit guide went. No, we're scaring the shit out of them. <laughs> oh, Sag. Even though this, yes, is scaring you to be vulnerable with somebody, to let somebody in, because it's almost as if you feel, if I let somebody in and I'm vulnerable with somebody, that gives me this like open space to go yeah sure I'm gonna let you in I'm gonna be vulnerable I'm gonna love you I'm gonna nurture you I'm gonna nurture our relationship but it's almost your you're assuming from the word go that this person's gonna hurt you because of what you've been through in your past um yeah which is making me sad The light seers tower at my loves. And again, death and rebirth. There's a massive transformation here. Massive. I just turned that upside down, didn't I? Oh, please don't tell me I just did that the wrong way. Excuse me. I did. Yeah, Loki, I just did. Sorry, guys. I'll cut this so you're not watching me turn my deck back around. <laughs> What a tit! What a tit! Only me, guys. Right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Let's do this properly. Let's do this properly now. Come on. It's not your first rodeo. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I just did that. When I went like that, I flipped it upside down. <laughs> Can I have more clarity on this transformation, please? Oh, oh my days, yes. Yeah, I can see that. Seeing everything from a totally new perspective. You're wanting equal give and take and you're willing to do whatever it takes to bring this equal give and take and put it in place. This is beautiful. You're dreaming of each other like so intensely. It's like even in the day when I'm when I'm dreaming of you and I'm like trying to be busy, whether it's at my home life or work, whatever you're doing in the day, I feel like you're also now unable to distract yourself. So no matter how many things you do in the day, no matter how busy you are. You're still dreaming and longing for this person. At night, it's so intense. You're like, right, I'm just gonna watch something. I'm just gonna watch something on TV. I'm just gonna watch something. I wonder what they're doing now. Oh, no. Right, come on. 
stop just, just stop thinking about them and then you're like looking at your phone and like trying to check them out wondering what they're doing right your cup is overflowing with love for this person you want and have so much love and see so much of a future with this person you desire them and fantasize about them so intensely that you can't hold back from this person anymore. No matter how much you try, you can't, right? Whoa. It's like you're so bored with your day-to-day -day life now. Because of how much this person has brought happiness to your life. Even when you're not talking to them or you're not spending time with them, they're bringing so much fulfillment to your life. It's nine of five, please. Yeah. You're heading towards each other. And I feel like I'm speaking to a feminine that's going above and beyond. So whether Sag listening now is a masculine or a feminine, I'm feeling that a feminine is coming towards you or it's a masculine and a feminine energy about to show you how much they're really feeling all up in their emotions for you. Whew. It's like no matter how much you... <laughs> Okay, no, 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 sorry, okay. No matter how much in, in your ego you are, this person's being patient with you, this person's being understanding with you, no matter how much you chuck at this person, this person's like, okay, I'm still here when you're ready. Hmm. <laughs> Nine to five. King of Swords, are you freaking kidding me? King of Swords, this is the king that is so good at communication. This king will, without a doubt, write love letters. He will, he's just so good with his words. He's so smooth with his words. You want this person to be whispering in your ear because they have nothing but sweet nothings to say to you. Oh, and he's so damn fine. <laughs> damn. Look, no matter how guarded you try and make yourself, this person is making an effort for you. This person is trying to do whatever they can to show you that they're there, to show you that they're turning up to show you how much they care about you, okay? Yes, you're guarded. I understand that you're guarded if you've been for a broken relationship, if you've been for a hard time in relationships. Yes, you are gonna be guarded. But this person, no matter what you took at them, this person's like, okay, okay. Yeah, that was really upsetting that you did that. <laughs> yeah, that really hurt me, but I, I, I do really like you and I do really wanna transform this relationship. and. I think you feel this too. <laughs> yeah. And the more effort that this person is making, the more you can see how above and beyond they're going for you and how patiently they're waiting for you, even though you're chucking shit at them. Yeah, you're going to give them communication that they deserve. Right? So... Let me get a chakra card for my Sagittarius. Can I have a chakra card for Sagittarius, please? It's definitely a very vulnerable, a def like an innocent energy around you. So if you don't have children or like fur babies, um, then yeah, just being vulnerable, 
that's all it's going to take. Um, you're going to get a lot of clarity through vulnerability, through getting into your emotions, through opening up. You're going to get all the clarity that you need and this like new understanding that's going to help you transform this relationship. It's beautiful. crown chakra divine will i align my will with the divine will allowing wisdom from the higher realms to support and guide my evolution on this earth i grow when i settle into the service of myself and others i leave space for the magic of the universe to play in my life and love I allow the unfolding, like I said earlier, being vulnerable, letting go, getting out of that ego and getting into your emotions. I know it's hard. I totally understand that it's hard. I've been there. And even now I'm like terrified of getting into a new relationship, being vulnerable, like dating. Oh my God, I haven't dated. I, I can't even remember. Like that's how long it's been. Like, you know, I'm terrified of going back into a new relationship i've been on my own for a really long time now not really long it's like four years nearly four years but yeah it's um it is scary um opening back up but you can be open you can be vulnerable without giving somebody your full heart and everything and letting that wall down even letting a few bricks down at a time, trust me, it's going to be worth it. The view, the view is beautiful. <laughs> the view, the view. <laughs> Do you mean my bae? <laughs> <I'm just joking. laughs> right, <laughs> I'm going to go. It's going to get worse. It's really early in the morning. <laughs> I hope this gave you clarity in your situation. I really, really do. I'm sending you so much love and light. If you did want a personal reading, everything's linked down below. I have got availability now. Um, I, did, I have just uploaded all my recent readings. So yeah, I have got spaces if you did want a personal reading. Um, sending you all so much love. Thank you for your love and support my channel. It does mean the world. May love and light guide you on your amazing spiritual journey. I'll see you next time, Sagittarius. Bye, lovelies. Bye.